Hi, it's Elise here, and I've been doing a series of videos on productivity because I've got a free guide on productivity coming out, and I want to make sure that um, I'm sharing all of my hints and tips and that you have access to that guide. So if you'd like to improve your productivity, your prioritization, your ability to move faster towards your really important goals, then stay with me. Now, today I want to talk about email, that wonderful tool that was brought in all those years ago to help improve our productivity and our connection. And actually, it's our behavior around email that has made the opposite true. It really can become the scourge of our productivity as it's a distraction from us working on the important things um, that will really move our team and our organization forward towards our goals. Um, so really start to be self-aware about how you're using email. What's your attitude towards email? Maybe have a conversation with your team about how much time and emphasis uh, you are putting on email and whether that's really serving you. Um, in your progress towards your important goals. Secondly, I want to tell you a very quick story because if you are in the middle of the scourge of email, then maybe this is an option for you. Um, I used to spend way too much time and emphasis on email and I allowed it to dictate my day a lot of the time. Now, this was a few years ago. Um, and uh, even when I was on holiday, I would spend time answering email and creating more of my own. So, um, I was on holiday in Turkey once sailing and I had no access to data. By the time I got back to the office a week later, I had more than 4,000 emails in my inbox. And you can imagine, we've all been there when the number's big and you open up your inbox, your heart can just sink to the bottom of your boots and it did for me that day. I had to do something drastic. I knew that spending all of the, those hours working through those thousands of emails was not the best um, thing for me to do nor the right role model for, for my team. So I declared what I now call email bankruptcy. I sent a note to all of my stakeholders, all of my team, telling them what I would do, asking them um, for their forgiveness. But what I was going to do was select all and delete everything in my inbox. And if there was something really critical that I had to receive by email that they couldn't tell me in a conversation that we were going to have over the next few days, then by all means, send it to me. It was one of the most liberating things I have ever done. And it was very powerful as, um, as a piece of role modeling towards my team. So email bankruptcy, you can resort to it. It does work. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this tip on email. I would love to hear your thoughts and if you would like to stay with me on my um, journey looking at how we can improve our productivity and our prioritization so that we work on the important stuff, then please do like, share or comment or DM me. I will make sure that you get access to my free guide when I release it in the next few days. Until next time.